What's up guys? Hold on. Welcome to GBC TV. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You know, Lopetegui has definitely been appointed a new Real Madrid boss. You know, Lopetegui, first and foremost, this is one of the best coaches appointed, period. Even though this came out of left field, it was a curveball. We have to say that this was a good appointment because putting this guy in charge, okay, let's, let's just say that. The Spanish national team has taken a big shift during the Spanish national team 2014 run and before that and as well and until last World Cup, Del Bosque had the team identity similar to Barcelona. Most of the players starting for Spanish national club team during their winning days, you know, they still winning, but during their World Cup winning days, during the last World Cup, was you could say similar to Barcelona. Most of the players starting was from Barcelona. The midfield was the Barcelona trio. And the Spanish national team played Tiki Taka basically until everybody came about. And, and they stopped the music. You know, they stopped Barcelona in Spain from dancing that Tiki Taka football. And they've learned how to beat them. And now Spain, after their Bosque stepped down, Le Petigui took over and basically changed the culture of the Spanish national team squad uh, that was under Del Bosque. By changing the culture, meaning that other players that would have not have been starting, other players that would have not have been called for this um, for the Spain national team squad, for this World Cup, would have never been called. You know, players like Koke have been playing, has been very instrumental to what, you know, Lepetegui has been doing, Saul, of course, and the main strikers, Rodrigo, you know, is getting a called up. Rodrigo would have never got a called up under Del Bosque. So, and you could say now the Spanish national team squad is playing like Real Madrid. You know, they most of their players is from Real Madrid, or most of their players are players that Lipotigli had coached under under 23 level and win World Cups to them and win trophies with them. So he knows what he's getting out of them. So at this World Cup, I'm destined to see what Spain is gonna like, what they're gonna do to perform. But going to Real Madrid, Zidane stepping down after winning three consecutive. Champions League title. There's nothing higher up than that, and the only thing that's higher than that is winning the fourth one, and that looked like less probable because some of the superstars are aging, some of the superstars are looking to move abroad, and it's like a rebuilding thing. And what's best for Zidane to step down after being at the highest level of his career, and then what's best for Lepetegui after the World Cup, no matter what show in Spain is done at the World Cup, to come in into a rebuilding job. We might not look at it as a rebuilding job because Real Madrid is Real Madrid. But coming in and doing the same kind of job that he did with the Spanish national team because Real is going into a transition as we speak. You know, and the Spanish team went through a transition when Lepetegui got appointed. He's going to get in there, go to the infrastructures from the, brown, from the bottom up, reanalyze these transfers, you know, identify players that don't fit the system, identify players that are not just going to be here you know, for his reign and identify the targets that he want to come to bring into Real Madrid and he'll bring back Real Madrid to the promised land, you know, as far as this transition, Real still need to keep performing and Lepetegui knows that, being Spanish, been coaching the Spain national team squad for a while now, coming from the youth rank, coaching them, you know, it's definitely a great appointment, but guys, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and definitely hit that bell button to get notified, the World Cup is coming. And so much great news is coming out. And, you know, I'm back on that thing, boy.